Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with the chapter Introduction of Graphs. We shall start by recalling bar graphs, pie charts and histograms. Then we shall move forward and study linear graphs. A bar graph is used to show comparison among categories. Let us try to understand this by using an example. Consider a student A and let us say we have that student A scored in first terminal exams he scored 40% marks. In the second term, he scored 50% marks. And in the third term, he scored 60% marks. Now we can compare his marks using a bar graph and let us see how to draw that bar graph. Let us start by drawing a bar graph for our example. Take a graph paper and mark x-axis and y-axis on it. On x-axis, we mark the terms, first term, second term and third term taking 2 cm as 1 unit and on the y axis we will mark percentage of marks starting with 0 0 and 1 cm equal to 10 percent. Since student A got 40 percent marks in the first term so we know that our bar has to be somewhere here. Let us draw the bar. On drawing the bar, we get the figure like this. He scored 50% in second term. So let us try and mark for the second term 50% and then we shall draw the bar graph. So now let us draw the bar graph. On drawing the bar, now our graph looks like this. It has got two bars and in the second term he has scored more marks. So the bar is taller. Now let us proceed for the third term. We know that he scored 60% marks. So this time our graph has to be somewhere here and now let us draw the bar. On drawing the bar for the third term, finally our graph looks like this and it is easily visible that he has made improvement in his marks from first term, he got better in the second term and even better in the third term. A double bar graph is used to compare two set of data simultaneously. Let us take an example. Let us make a graph of the marks obtained by the student in maths, social science and English in the year 2011-2012 and 2012-2013. If we depict yellow bar meaning the marks obtained in 2011-2012 from the graph we can see that in maths in the year 2011-2012 the child scored 60% marks while in the year 2012-2013, he 
he scored 75 percent marks similarly he scored 55 percent marks in 2011-2012 but he could only score 40 percent marks in 2012-2013 in social sciences while in english both the years 2011-12 and 12-13 he scored same marks that is 55 percent marks and seeing the graph we can conclude that the student made good progress in maths from 2012 to 2013 he deteriorated his marks in social sciences and gave the same performance as 2012 2013 in english pi graph pi graph is used to compare parts of a whole in these graphs a circle represents a whole for example let us assume that our circle represents total number of viewers of television now to depict that 50% of our viewers watch entertainment channels we will depict on the graph like this here half the circle is marked by this red lines depicting that 50% of the viewers are watching entertainment channel now if we have that 25% of viewers watch sports channel let us try to depict it we know that 1/4 of a circle makes 25% so we have marked 1/4 of the circle by blue that depicts that 25% of the viewers are watching sports channels now let us assume that 15% watch news channels while 10% watch discovery channel and let us try to depict it we shall mark 15% of the news channels like this notice that we have taken little more than half of the remaining portion since actually we were left with 25% of the circle and if we take half of 25% that is 12.5% but we have to mark 15% so we took little greater piece of the circle to mark 15% and now it remains to mark 10% discovery after marking 10% discovery our graph would look like this and this is called a pi graph histogram a histogram is a bar graph that shows data in intervals there are no gaps between the bars because there are no gaps between the intervals let us consider an example suppose we conduct a survey in a town and try to find out the comparison between the weights and the number of children 
who fall in that weight then suppose we find out that children weighing from 40 to 45 kg are 15 children weighing between 45 to 50 kg are 30 children weighing from 50 to 55 kg are 40 children weighing from 55 to 60 kg are 35 and children weighing from 60 to 65 kg are 25 to draw a histogram let us start by taking a graph paper and plot x axis and y axis also on the x axis mark a jagged line showing that we are not marking the weights from 0 to 40 kg and we are straight away starting from 40 kg note we are taking weights in kg on the x axis and number of children on the y axis then we start plotting our graph for weight from 40 to 45 kg number of children is 15 so it comes somewhere here we mark this line and then we draw the rectangle similarly for the weights from 45 to 50 kg we have number of children 30 so we mark 30 line and complete the rectangle and so on finally after marking for all the values we get this graph which is called a histogram here we can see that there are no gaps there are no gaps between bars because there were no gaps between the intervals in our data also from the graph we can see that maximum number of children that is 40 lie in the weight range of 50 to 55 kg while the minimum number of children that is 15 lie in the weight range of 40 to 45